guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bring to the finale of Just Made It of Amnesia. I'm, I'm torn because this was such a good series, and I hate the fact that we're now in the final three episodes of this series, and I really want to see how they're going to close this out, if they're going to leave it in what most animes that I've seen in an open ending, how is the OVA going to go, and... Is the OVA essentially going to be canon for this series? I mean, sometimes an OVA is or isn't canon, but yeah, we ain't gonna know until we get to that final episode. But other than that, let's start out with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm? Oh. That was a few minutes ago. Girl, no, that was like a whole freaking episode. Yeah. You know the one who was trying to get inside you? Yeah. She had to. Huh? She just saw something that... Uh, yeah! Uh, Why the moon look like that? I mean, that's pretty though, but... Stop. No, you can't. <laughs> oh my god. You can't out this finale like this. What the hell is wrong with you? <sighs> Who does that? Who starts an episode like that? No, that that's unfair. That <laughs> You're not going to make me cry again today. Okay? You're just not. No. Mm-mm. 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 No. No. I I'm not. And I mean it. And then watch. Something's going to make me cry. They better fight to each other again. I don't want to wait. <laughs> I need... Huh. Huh. You kidding me, right? I'm not rolling my eyes at this, but like, oh. I did not mean to do that, but like, oh. This some. Um, oh. It can oh. damn it. You gave me the hope. That little teeny tiny bit of hope and which is like mm. oh Maybe if you no, cause like we saw that if they touched again, he just like phased right through her. Huh. Oh. Baby. He is. You just can't feel him. 
You know, one thing I forgot to say about this, the transitions for this show, just as good as Akadama. Mm-hmm. They were horrible. So now what, is he is Shadow Nia now? Essentially? Is that what we're calling him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, literally, we dragging this out for three for two episodes, right? We're, that's what we're literally doing. <laughs> Just seeing her there. And, oh my God, baby, honey, I'm so sorry. Oh. I wish he could just write something so that she can see as well and that she knows. Oh, mm -hmm. oh damn it, I'm crying now. Oh my god. Basically, mm hmm. She said it. I mean, but you're seriously going to give up like that. Yeah, and it's okay to be scared. You just have to keep going. If you truly love her, which we all know you do, you have to do it. <laughs> exactly. But you are. Okay. Oh, hon. Be cares. You don't know So, I mean, come on now. You love her. She loves you. So just fight for her. If you really, truly love her, you would fight for her to the ends of the earth. Even if it was your own death, and if it ended in your death, for you to be with her, you would still do something. No. Oh. This is giving me, oh my god, what the hell is that movie's name? Um, the Lake House vibes? Oh my god, I haven't seen that movie in like forever. Oh. I can't. 
my heart. It's still not enough. <sighs> How the hell y'all gonna solve this? Candy. Oh. So then was that the same candy that like... It has to be. My child in her poses. She'd probably go nuts. Think about that, really. I mean, you tell any family member about that, what you think will happen? Oh, okay, I was about to say, be like, um, explain. Mm. So you see Shadow Yuko, you don't see. The Yuko that's in love with Teiji. Of course, she cut wander in the halls. complicated you would think her sister would immediately start asking about like Asajan or you know Teichi would ask about Asajan because there we go <laughs> Is she related to Momoa or is her grave? Oh.
and why were we doing this? Oh. Including him. Yeah, the one who kept blaming Asa. I mean, oh my god, like, that is, like, oh god, last week was a very, mm. Hmm? But in a way, he did. Of course, as I said, you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope she got awards for this, I mean this show, because, oh, I can't, I love her VA so much, just as much as her army. This feels more like a last episode than the actual last episode, even though we're about to watch that next. Oh, oh that hurt. Jesus, like, oh. Hmm. 
Why is the, the ending song different? Is that it? Is this the last episode? I mean... Okay, no. <laughs> because I was thinking they were going to give it, you know, an open... I mean, not an opening, an ending where it's parts of an episode. You're seeing, like, the final edge, and then you got the credits rolling and everything. But, like, oh, this episode. Jesus. <laughs> like, oh... This was too much. Like, I mean, but you know what? I needed that cry. <laughs> I needed that cry. I think if I had to probably watch this on my birthday, I don't really like to cry on my birthday, but I'm glad that I watched it several days later because this was a really good episode. Like, oh my God, this hurt. And I'm glad that finally Yuko has become one with herself and that she has all of her emotions. She's not throwing it away. She's okay. She's better. I just want to know. We got one more episode of this show plus the OVA. I just want to know how in the world this ends because this episode truly felt like a finale and that 12 and 13 will just both seem like OVAs to me unless there is something else. I'm guessing there has to be. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm? Oh, the pictures. What was my voice last time? She can't grab it. No, no, no. What the fuck was that? I is she about to move on? Of course, you gotta name it Desmond because what else you gonna name it? You are not about to do this. Who? <laughs> to me don't please please don't do this they are just now finally together again for the second time and the fact that she had the bell in her hand or the bracelet it dropped because she couldn't touch it for some weird reason and then she's able to grab it something is indicating that in this final final episode before the OVA comes it, it's gonna be something like, oh my god, what the hell was that freaking, uh, no, 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 clamp series that I like so much. Not Car Cop to Sakura. Um. I know it. I know it. I just can't remember it right now. Oh my god. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Because, what's her face is in it? I can't remember the damn name. In the, okay, I'm gonna spoil, like, a little bit of this show. Because I can't, like, I, even though I can't remember the name, I'm, I'm gonna, like, try to keep it, like, very, very small. That it's not big, big spoilers. Basically, this girl comes down to Earth from somewhere. She's supposed to be a fairy-ish. And in the end, she gets all these wishes from, like, these kids, adults, whatever. And eventually, when she fills this bottle up... In the final episode, she has to leave. But she falls in love with this guy. And then in the end, they have to, like, uh, 
part the part from each other and it's one of the most saddest things that I haven't watched the episode in like forever like I think well the entire series I rewatched like the Subasa Chronicles episode crossover that they did with the show and it's still one of my personal favorites but if it, if we're going like that with this show where it seems like she's going to have to move on because that's the only way that she'll finally be at peace since she's become one with her emotions and stuff I'm going to have a BF. <laughs> I'm going to have a bitch fit. I don't want that. I mean, at the same time I do, but then at the same time I don't because you want her to be happy. That's the biggest thing at the end of the day. But at the same time, these two, especially with the fact is that Nia is Asajan's, you know, grandson and their destiny has been entwined like this. And no matter what, they are always are able to find each other back, th- find their way back to each other, and to to end the last episode off, or even start the last episode with that. I can't. I can't. Like, are you fucking kidding me? You can't. And you can't. You can't do that. That's really unfair. And I just, oh God, please. Please, I beg you, beg you, beg you, beg you so much. Don't, don't end, like, really, really bad. I really love this show, and I don't want it to end in a really messed up way where I'm like, I, it, you know, this show was good, but then that last little episode just was like, mm. I want it to end happy for these two because I really love them as a couple, even though, yes, for the last few weeks, I could, I kept saying, like, oh my god, like, they... How I'm like, I don't know, but now actually seeing it and believing in their love together, I'm like, you know, full on their side and I just want them to be together no matter what. So let them be together. Don't let anything get in their way. I mean, it makes you wonder, like, if this part here is also from the manga, how that how was that addressed? Like, how were they able to get through these things and more things are out in the manga, but I don't know until I read it. But Yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12. But before we even get started with episode 12, let's talk about the little situation that happened. Okay, so I was all ready to watch episode 12. I got like nine minutes into the episode and something weird happened. At first I thought it was my computer, but no, it it was the episode itself. And I didn't look, um with the complete file that I had downloaded on Yan, um, at the comments that someone said that episode 12 was just messed up. And I kind of wish that I did so that I would have known this ahead of time and we would have been able to get everything done the day I recorded episode 11, but unfortunately I didn't. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think I'll be able to have it delayed. I think I'll be able to get it out by Friday, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started with episode 12 in three, two, one go and unfortunately I gotta watch this in English because the copy that I got um no matter how many times when I was trying to download it and everything literally wouldn't let me watch it (laughs) it would give me the Japanese audio but not the subtitles (laughs) but that's okay Yeah, Mama. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, because you can't just go out and say, yeah, it was me. Bing bong.
All right, let's cry again, Deja. <laughs> yeah, but it's still Yoko's home. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, just take the salt. <laughs> mhm. Mm uh uh. Yeah, except one thing. Yuko's disappearing! Mm-hmm. So, you have a date at school. Depends on the girl. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nia. Nothing. Yeah, and the fact that you got to say goodbye to him, like, uh. She'll just phase through you. Lunchtime, right? Yep, here we go. Lunchtime.
Is that wrong, though? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she has a right to, you know... <laughs> Baby, she's so precious. Oh my god. Yeah, because it's cute. Oh, hine. <laughs> it's okay. Now see, with that, I mean, come on, indicating that you, you, with the fact that she's going to leave it. Oh, God, here's the part where it messed up for me. So cute and cute, my heart. <sighs> yeah. Oh God, I just... <laughs> And because you've, mm -hmm. and now that you've done that, it's time for you to go. At least she got to be with you.
Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't think so. Yeah, but it's still, there's not, No matter what you'll do. Exactly, and she doesn't want to see you, son. This hurts. I don't like this. Oh my god, stop, please. Which makes sense. Oh 
my god, stop, please, this hurts so much. I mean, that's it. You ain't gonna say anything else. Yeah. 
Oh, I was about to say. Hmm, we end in like that? You had something. You made me cry for no reason, is that what you're saying? Show, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. Oh, That was so cute, oh my god. I mean, now it makes you wonder, like, number one, what the heck is going to happen in this OVA? I mean, because the OVA, no matter what, typically most OVAs that I've seen are essentially canon to this show. And it makes me still, even though I think somebody asked me or told me, I think after between episodes one and two to three and four um, for those videos to read the series, either from the where the anime ends or just from the beginning to see everything manga form and say and shit like that but like I just I really want to know what happens next and like if it is you know how is it gonna end for them like oh god I mean is he gonna grow old with her and is he eventually gonna die so that, that yes they can be together forever as ghosts and stuff I mean it, it's a very underrated romantic series I didn't think I was gonna fall for this in like one episode or two but I did and I loved it it's really really good and it's it's gonna be one of my personal faves I don't think anything could possibly top this because there, there's a lot of different romance stories and anime and sometimes they can be very very similar but then there there's always one that like outshines them all and there's multiple that even though yes it's similar because of the romance each one is uniquely different as hell like there's just one series that I am going to watch not as a reaction but by myself I was trying to watch the first episode um late at night but typically when I watch something late at night and it's like really really late in the morning and I'm really really sleepy 50 out of 50 I end up falling asleep while I'm watching it so I haven't seen this series and I've heard so much about it and it's called Nana um I tried to watch the first episode and I fell asleep didn't mean to because it was really good from what I had watched so I'm gonna try again on it one day maybe tonight or tomorrow whenever I have free time but this was a really good ending I'm glad that they're together and stuff but I really want to know like number one what would happen next after this manga wise and then what is this gonna um what's entitled into this final OVA episode for this show but yeah go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the OVA Okay, OVA in three, two, one, go. Oh, okay.
Yeah, but knowing y'all, y'all probably gonna go there after school, right? I mean, mm. <laughs> is she? Th <laughs> is there even fish in the pond? <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> For what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go, what about you? I mean, hold on. Nia ain't even say go. Yeah, but I feel like Yuko still knows her ish, which we do know. Oh, good job. Imagine if they're a high school level. Ah. You tried though, a for effort. You, d just stop. It's okay. <laughs> oh, she gets her own oven. <laughs> Honestly, that's nice. It makes the most sense because of the fact that they're crazy. That's cute. I mean, is she gonna be like singing? Like, when you go like. <laughs> Basically, we just took Yuko out of the opening and just. <laughs> With her milk. <laughs> Poster of a cow, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no, there you go. fourth wall That makes sense. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Well, that's weird. You would think Yuko would know something about it, right? It has to be. Yeah, but then there could be something else here that we don't know about that could indicate something, you know, for the manga. Are, are these all have to do with Yoko-san as well? And what they're going to do, they're going to get transferred to Course Party High School? Okay, well, except the mail goes. <laughs> it's a little fucked up, though. No. <laughs> Nia, I love you so much, but maybe you should. We should have a random guy besides you. Yeah, because. <laughs> Because she's already in there. May you. <laughs> you go. You guys are going to hurt him really bad. I mean... Yeah, sure. Yeah. Which makes the most sense. <laughs> well, that didn't work. cutest moan ever. Oh my god. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Are you sending like Dio? You doing a Dio pose? Yeah, basically you are. She is JoJo posing. <laughs> I mean, ever since the show has started. again
I can't. <laughs> oh, you tried. <laughs> Boo. Yeah, I know. Like, where exactly did you get this paper, Mama? <laughs> what? <laughs> Of course that was you. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything would happen though. That would be considered a pass up. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. Really, Momoi? <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's a wall section that covers you guys, so it's okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you got this!
it just seems normal. <laughs> Because you goes in. Yeah, honestly, really. Yeah, because if that one wasn't really true, then the rest of them shouldn't be true as well. <clears throat> Well, that makes sense. It's almost like, um, the rumors with Hanukkah. Excuse me. Aww. That's so cute. Well, I mean, you guys did it for the fun of it. I mean, so not really for nothing. You kinda did it for something. See? <laughs> oh my god, he's so fucking cute. I can't. baby. Damn. You feel so bad for her. I mean, but still, Mama and Kitty, I mean, they're so freaking cute together, but <laughs> I can't. This was such a really good series, and I'm glad I was able to watch it as a patron, for a Patreon show. It's underrated as hell. I mean, 
Mm. It just reminds me of how, like, I think after I did, it's, it's pretty old school with this reaction because it's still one of my personal favorite shows that I reacted to. I haven't rewatched the show in forever, and maybe one day I will. Um, Daily Lives of High School Boys and how much I loved laughing at that ish week after week after week. And when we got to the last few episodes, I was super duper sad because I didn't want it to end because it was just such a damn good show. And plus the fact is that Square Enix also, you know, not only made that, made this as well, personally, like, distributing it and everything, but still it was good. I just, I really want to know, um what is going to happen next. So yeah, I think I will read the manga for this. I think I just got to either I'll either buy it or I'll find some way to read it and see what possibly happened next with these two and how it ended and anything else because this was such a damn good series and I really will miss it. Hell, I might even buy it on Blu-ray because it's such a good series and I loved it just as much as like any other series that I've eventually have gotten the Blu-rays or the DVDs for. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so pretty. You just want to take a screenshot of that. But yeah. This was such an underrated series, and I will miss it a lot. I mean, Jesus, like, I was not expecting episode 12 to go the way it was going to go, because I'm thinking, okay, she's going to disappear, he's saying goodbye, we're all going to cry, and then eventually what I was assuming that they would have done would have been, like, him older and such, and him still not you know, moving on from her and eventually he would have died and he would have found like some way his, his spirit would have found her. But like, I love the way it ended, like th that they're still together no matter what. And I'm just like, Oh, but maybe like the ish that I just said possibly ended, ended in the manga. Who knows? I mean, but I really, truly want to read the manga just to see how everything played out, what happened to these characters and where they ended up because 12 episodes, technically 13 with an OVA, um, isn't really enough. And I felt like maybe this should have gotten a second season. I don't know if at the time when this show came out, um, if it was hella popular or if it was popular, but only with a certain amount of groups, a group of people. Because if it is that, then I understand that because that's like um, my personal favorite show that comes out on Thursday is Akadama Drive or... Um, D4DJ, which premiered today, or Bandity, or No Guns Life. I could name so many more underrated shows that maybe in the beginning, everybody was hyped for it, but maybe about like episode three, episode four, maybe even episode five, the hype for it slowly died, but the people who still stayed with it to the end, um, just that little small group, maybe like under like 300 people, possibly still cared for it and it could have been for this show I don't know but it also gives me like underrated we cross fills because like I watched recross like 
two, I want to say four or five years after it ended. I watched it between 2016 and 2017 and I caught up with it before the last series aired and it that's an underrated show too. But this was really good and I hate the fact that it's over but I mean that also means like hey I get to start a new Patreon series but I will truly miss this. I mean if a big if if they had a figure of Yuko or like something besides the blu-ray of this show then yeah i would do i would buy it just as much as i did penguin drum or any other series because like i still want a figure from Mizzy or a rabbit shut up freaking fitbit i'm about to go out in a minute but yeah it was a damn good series and i will miss it really really much a lot like mm, it's just it's gonna be weird even though I have my next series, but I will miss it so much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the series, Dust Maiden of Amnesia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Friday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for the next start of my next Patreon series. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!